okay, so I was in I was in only second team. Uh, I get a chance to invited by Lamont and Boss to join on uh, RQ. So yeah, then I joined them. As you guys know, the RQ was worst season is in season three. So I joined them. I because I don't understand what they say, it's hard for me, the language barrier. So I didn't do really well and therefore I decided not to stop my uh, mobile agent career and back to study and work. And then after a while, there's, there's M1 happening. I got I got opportunity to invite as a coach for Team Gosu. Um, we didn't make it to playoff because the standard of US and in Indo Meta is quite different. But I got opportunity to opportunity to meet uh, RQ members as we still I still remember them and they they did really well in M1, although they lost to Evos there. But it's when there there I meet. Uh, RQ boss and we talk about it and I give them some suggestion on how to fight EVOS during that time. Yeah, so I just give a little bit of helping because my goals are not winning and I want to win, help RQ to win M1. But but still we didn't manage to they didn't manage to win and I was there to cheer them up since they are all my old teammates. Uh, I'm Jago, Tuturu, Liam, Lemon. Uh, Vin and Dude, Billy, those those like Billy, Rave, all there. And after that, I got invited to to join esports as a as a coach. Uh, RQ invited me. Papa asked me whether you want it or not. I was I was really confusing because I was working and I was doing quite okay. And but but the spirits in me, the esports fire in me. I think it's still not done yet. So I just I just gave myself an, another try. I, I was telling myself like just give a try as a coach. Maybe you'll do better than as player. Yeah, and I just try. I was telling Pablo Society, maybe I'm done after one or two seasons, that's all. Yeah. But then season five I come in. So I always think and learn. We manage to cope through step by step. You know, it's hard when when you talk to Sin in English and then he don't understand at all. And at the time, I was trying really hard to learn Bahasa as well. And also, like, what's their comfort pick? So many players there, so it's really hard for me. And then you need to consider their mentality and thinking about who should play all this. It was hard, and I want to achieve something, but. I don't know how much I can achieve and how far I can go. Then I do my best. We in in, in MPL season five. It was really hard because Evos was really good. BTR was good. Nick was okay as well. We managed to go into final, grand final, and I give them speech. I set the rules. I give them the heroes. We practice day by day, really hard. I try to understand them. We argue a lot, we communicate a lot, and then we have miscom, almost fight, all this a lot, and then we managed to win my first MPL trophy. That's when I realized that, oh, actually, the team that I'm doing right now is strong. But I'm not sure like, how, how strong are we, whether just they will play us strong or we are doing really well and we have good chemistry, I don't know. And we continue this fighting spirit until MPLE, where we do another dominant again. We dominant the MPLE, we win international championship. I raised the Indonesia flag as well. It was really memorable and really excited. So after MPLE, yeah, there's a lot of things changes. Players want to rest, people want to go, new players come in. Therefore, you see, Sin is not playing, and we got new MDL players. I have to take care of MDL player. We don't have coach at that time. It was really hard. We need to choose 
players and coming up to help MPL. We were struggling at the first few weeks. It was really hard because new players, 16 years old, what do you expect, right? Therefore, you have Albert. I picked them one by one. The MDO project, I told Pabos and Pape about this. We should start open recruitment, open trial and take players. Therefore, we got Albert and he joined to the team, he coped with the team. We managed to secure the upper bracket and go into the playoff and we did an incredible comeback. Incredible comeback on a game 5 of against Alter Ego. Yeah, so I got I got two champions, three champions. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I was thinking like, yeah, this these kids are amazing. So then uh when you come to MPLE we have to make a choice and then we practice as usual but it's hard for us to achieve because people is gonna look at look at us in different way. People is gonna people is gonna judge us because we are always winning. There's a lot of there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of hate and I don't know, I don't know. I mean me myself I just have like 100 k followers and I get all the hate comments and when I see all the kids down there, Albert, Lemon and Sin, I can't imagine how many struggles they're gonna go in through. It was really hard. I was thinking about taking care of the lame mentalities as well as their own issues. Everybody has their own issues. So, so we didn't perform really well in MPLE and the haters was like, yeah, that's that's all RIQ got and probably we're gonna see you guys in M2 so we, we worked really hard in M2 I changed my training schedule we we changed a lot we practiced a lot uh, and we, we, we worked really hard I was preparing this M2 strategy for a long time and I And I think the um, before they we come to here, all of them know that I wanted to uh, take a rest after MPL season six, but I continue with and. I told them that N2 is, is probably my, my last tournament before I retired or make any other changes or yeah and I have my personal reasons I like to I want to study that's my personal reason and yeah so fortunately N2 is in Singapore I managed to come back to my house is really good okay anyway um, we change our training style we have new players come in to replace our former tank Josh. We expect all the teams are really strong in M2. And we really work really hard. We prepare a lot of meta, a lot of strategies. And unfortunately, people are just, people are just better than us. BG is better than us. Brent is better than us. It's just unfortunate that we cannot do it this time. I am just hardworking and I do my best as as always lah. I think a lot of you guys compare me to other coaches, uh, Achiu, Zays, Nasi Udo, Daki. But I think I'm I'm not better than them. I'm just lucky, and I got this opportunity because people gave me. And thanks to those people that gave me the opportunity, and thanks for everything. I appreciate all the helps that happened before until now because people help me along the way, people support me along the way. I mean, without them, without you guys, I mean, I'm just nothing. So, and today if things happen like this, I think we, all we gotta do is move on. Before I, before I got a few things to, um, to talk to RRQ, so first thing is of course, uh, Pabos. I think I already messaged him. It's really understanding, it's really caring for my future and all other things. And when he invited me, it's really nice. And I'm thankful to have a boss like him. And I'm really honored uh, and bring him some trophy before I left. 
Uh, same goes to Ape. Carrie always asks me how, how I'm doing all this and always joke with me. He's a really nice guy and I'm really honored to work with him as well. Um, let's move on to my place. So I think the first thing I will talk about is um, Bin, I think he's a really smart guy and smart in a way that I have to choose him as a captain in season 5 until now. Because he's dominant, he have a lot of thinking. I hope Vin, if you watch this video, better keep it that way. And hope you always uh, improve your understanding. And always feel free to talk about the things that you want to say. Yeah, so the next one I'll talk about um, Whisking. Whisking play a really big role in RIQ actually. Not just as player, but as a motivation and mood boost as well. So I hope Whisking um, keep it that way. Work really hard as well. Hope you improve on all your mechanic skills and um, talk. Next time I'll talk about Sin. Sin is a 50 50 guy. It's really good, sometimes really bad. But when he's really good, he's like the top of the top. When he's really bad, he's on the, the lowest. And then, yeah. So I hope you make your healthy lifestyle. Uh, be a better version of yourself and don't let your people that support you down okay as for Albert I think he will keep working hard still young a lot of a long way to go I hope you keep working hard don't focus on the things that you shouldn't focus okay for for R7 I think I think I know him since some time ago since season 3 um seven wise I think you are really hard working and I I hope you keep it away focus on what you're supposed to focus if uh yeah, of course you have girlfriend to take care of, but at the same time, be the best of the best, okay? Best off laner, so you gotta work hard. And then the next one will be uh, Psycho, just join. I mean, I know him as well, long time. Just don't play too much. Be a good tank, and Ving will guide you along. Next, I'll, I'll talk about Levon. Um, I know Levon since season three, we work together, and I work beside him as a tank as well. We know how to communicate. He's a really understanding person and really smart. Um, although sometimes we argue, but most of the time we have all common standing and com common understanding. I mean, it didn't just be Elliot, right? And lastly, um, Rap. Better be a good manager than any other else. To all the fans that hates me, okay, I'm gone now. To all the fans that like me, I'm gone now as well. So, I'm gone now from RIQ doesn't mean the end of my Mobile Legends, but um, I will still be going out in this scene. But you just don't. I just, I just can't be in the professional scene anymore um, because of my personal reason. And I hope you guys understand. And sorry, I couldn't bring you guys another champion, but. Maybe the next one will and I will keep pushing forward and I think I'll see you guys when I see you. Viva Raki.